Howdy, howdy, hey, welcome into episode 107 of Inside 300, Disney Park News in just three minutes. I'm your host, Brian Perry. A fun game to play is Googling Florida Man and your birthday and seeing what ridiculous story comes up because unfortunately one is inevitable. Well, a new Florida man has emerged as David Proudfoot, 44 of Kissimmee, posed as a Disney cast member back in May and stole a $10,000 R2-D2 from Disney World. Now, he did it in an attempt to impress Disney security and prove he's worthy of a job. He is being charged with grand theft. Apparently, he was spotted on a security cam at the Yacht Club, pushing around an empty cart, which was a little sus. He then lied about his name before getting arrested. I'll go out on a limb and say that he will not be hired by the mouse anytime soon. Tiana's Bayou Adventure is the official name of the upcoming Splash Mountain re-theme. The announcement was made at the annual Essence Festival down in NOLA, along with an article being posted at DisneyParksBlog.com. A two-minute video came out that featured Imagineers heading down to the bayou in Louisiana for research on the scenery and culture that make up the Big Easy. Like Anika Nani Rose said a few weeks back, the ride will open in late 2024. Tiana's Bayou Adventure, according to Disney, is a love letter to New Orleans, which is great because New Orleans is one of my favorite cities. Nobody asked, but that's okay. The ride picks up where the film left off, which means Ray, the Firefly, won't be joining us. But Tiana, Naveen, and Louis will as they host a one-of-a-kind Mardi Gras celebration where everyone is welcome. So what do you think, Tiana's Bayou Adventure? You like the name? I think it's fine. On to the Disney Wish, which had its commencement this week, and despite it the grandeur of the ship and its mesmerizing offerings, it's a menu item that is stealing all the headlines. Remember when Disney announced the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel was going to cost about 5000 bucks for two nights and we all lost our collective minds? Well, they've won up themselves now by offering you a $5,000 drink aboard the Disney Wish. That's right, a $5,000 cocktail can be ordered at the Star Wars-themed bar. A video seen from digital journalist Ashley Carter shows the contraption the ridiculous offering comes in. The company hasn't released exactly what the drink is made of because then they'll realize that you can probably formulate it at your own home after a quick visit to the Publix liquor store. Finally, cross off uh, if you add Howard Stern spoiling a future Marvel show on your bingo card. The famous and often controversial radio host was caught with a hot mic during a recent commercial break on one of his programs. He can be heard talking about how stressed he is regarding the schedule he has to go through for the upcoming Dr. Doom project. Take a listen. It's Tommy Kevin John's Feige, Apollo Gary. underwear. Uh, uh, there's no uh, risk. Be yeah, 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 tell them it's free tell guarantee. It works, but I, Shop TommyJohn.com slash SXM right yeah, now for 20% stop. off your first order. I mean, Get 20% um, off are right you now at TommyJohn.com well, slash SXM. Do Dr. Doom. TommyJohn.com slash SXM. See site for details. But I don't even believe me. I'm miserable about it. Thoughts and prayers to Mr. Howard Stern. That's it's got to be tough to deal with. That's going to do it for this episode of Inside 300. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell icon. Hello, bell. So you're notified every time we come out with brand new content. I've been your host, Brian Perry. I'll see you next time. And as always, bye-bye.